New details about a man accused of groping several women in the Brickell community. Now more victims are coming forward. Tonight, the accused serial groper is behind bars and facing several charges. CBS 4's Ashley Dyer is speaking to a handful of victims, and actually, all of this came to light from a social media group, right? That's how these women were able to identify the guy. It started with one woman. She posted she was assaulted while walking with her daughter. Then and someone else posted a picture of the suspect. Now, from there, the comments began flooding in, and we messaged the people who were making those comments. We found out at least 12 women say they were assaulted by the same guy. This is 43 year old Emmanuel Bradley, but to dozens of women, he's known as the Brickle Groper. I just felt a grab, like a grope, almost like a caress. It was really gross. As I'm crossing seventh, I hear him start screaming, hey, 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 over and over. And as we begin to cross paths, he grabs my chest out of nowhere. He, like reached out and like grabbed after, after me and said, come here, Pinky because I was wearing hot pink. These women tell me he takes advantage at the right moments and moves quickly, which is why many of them didn't file reports. What is key is that um, people are starting to come forward. If someone unwantedly touches you, it is definitely a crime. The majority of victims we talked to say they had their hands full when Bradley reached out to grab them, carrying groceries, walking dogs, and one woman pushing a stroller. Like, I wonder how many more people passed by right after me that he went and grabbed after. The groping incidents aren't the only thing police are investigating in Brickell. I'm just, you know, chilling at the red light and all of a sudden I hear somebody honking at me. That's when Mary Gomez turned and saw a man in a Tesla performing a sex act. Like he was just exhibiting himself to everyone. He had every intention of getting me to look over at him. She immediately took a picture of his license plate and called police to file a report. Police tell us they've received several complaints about the same guy. He was in a suit, he was in a Tesla. In both cases, women posted on Facebook in a group called Brickle Living, warning others about these men and where they typically hang out. We're all banding together. We're trying to bring, you know, awareness amongst ourselves to, you know, be careful. Now, after these two incidents, we asked police if they'll be sending more officers to Brickle, but they tell me that the area is already heavily patrolled. We're live in Brickle tonight. Ashley Dyer, CBS 4 News.